Hey, what's up guys? My name is Bryce and today I'll be telling you about my experience with the T's test and how I scored in the 99th percentile on the math and 97th percentile on the science. So make sure to watch this entire video to listen to my er, tips and tricks. Alright guys, let's get into it. Um, so I listened to all the other YouTubers and they all recommended this book and I found it pretty helpful. Uh, I found it most helpful for the practice tests uh, because they show me where I needed the most work. And the first two practice tests I scored like a 60 to 65 um, on the science portion. So I increased my science grade by like 25 points. Um, so that is, that's definitely like a big improvement. So make sure to use this, but more than anything, you guys need to get this. This right here is an anatomy and physiology, uh, study guide. And you guys can either comment down below your emails or Instagram. Um, also there's a Facebook uh, study group that I was in and this is actually where I got this study guide it's called the Kelly file and you can join that group and download it there or I can just send it to you if you uh, leave a comment with your email down below so like mnemonics helped me remember stuff so let's start with like flat peg and that would be the anterior pituitary and that includes the FSH, LH, ACTH, TSH, prolactin, endorphins, and the growth hormone. Oxidation is losing an electron. Yeah, oxidation is losing. Um, and rig is reduction is gaining. And I'm going to give you guys some mnemonic for the integumentary system. And if you guys can't tell, I think I have ADHD because this making this YouTube video is so hard because I can't stay on track. Like, like it's hard, okay? But I'm just trying to make it like to where I'm talking to somebody. So uh, let's talk about the integumentary system. And you do need to know the skin layers. So there's five layers in the skin. There's the uh, stratum corneum, stratum lucidum, stratum granulosum, spinosum, and the ba basal, ba basal, basal, yeah, basal, that's it. Sorry, it's been a while since I took anatomy. <laughs> um, and the way I remember this is big Sally grabbed Luke's cock. So that's kind of dirty. Yes, I know, but it. That's just the way I remembered it. So sorry if that is too weird for you. So the thyroid would release calcitonin and you need to know calcitonin and PTH. It's important. Both of them were on my test. I don't know if I can tell you that, but yes, remember them. Uh, calcitonin tones your bones. All right. So, um, inhibits release of calcium from bones that's what this says um, but just remember calcitonin tones your bones so calcium is being stored in your bones and not being like in the blood uh, PTH does the exact opposite of that so remember they're just opposites so know what a synapse is synapse an easy way to remember synapse is space so synapse space um, know about the the neuron parts so the dendrite, the axon, the myelin sheath uh, the myelin sheath insulates um, nerves yeah um, so remember that uh, know about mitosis and meiosis and I'm not giving you guys like a great description of everything because it's all inside this, this stuff I'm just I'm just giving you ways to remember it. So, uh, easy way for, to, for remembering uh, mitosis or the steps of mitosis are uh, 
metaphase is meet in the middle, so like the spindle fibers meet in the middle. Anaphase, I actually remember it. I'm sorry, but I remember it like anal phase. So it's like, uh, let's say your girlfriend doesn't want to like do that, then she goes away from you. Like, okay, I can't, I can't say this in a YouTube video. <laughs> Uh, let's just say anaphase away, so no anaphase away. Uh, so the actual definition would be like sister chromos chromosomes called sisters begin pulling apart. Um, now let's go over some math stuff. Uh, so math for me is just like really easy, but... Um, most of the problems on there were were, were like uh, algebra and geometry problems and the and word problems. So uh, there were also a few like conversion problems. So make sure to know uh, the gallon man and also know the uh, rectangular prism, uh, rectangle per perimeter area triangle and yeah those are all the that's all the stuff you really need to know you don't really need to know like cylinders and, and crap like that all right moving along yeah i have like adhd so this is tough some other i i heard that uh brandon craft on youtube he makes like study guides for math that are really similar to the math portion. So I recommend that you guys go over there on his channel and I'll link it down in the description. Um, just go over there and he'll teach you how to do the math stuff. Uh, the way I do math, I, um, I always change things to a decimal through the calculator. So if a number says, uh, what is this? fractions equivalent you would just if it was like one and then like 24 divided by 25 then you would just do 24 divided by 25 on the calculator and then go to the answers and then do the same thing with the the answers down there okay so let's say that uh, one and one fourth plus one and one eighth I would first uh, change the one eighth to a decimal and then add it to one. And then also for the one and one fourth, I would do one divided by four on the calculator and then plus one. So then I would get the decimals. That way I don't have to mess with all the fraction crap. I don't, I don't know how to do all that. Well, I do know how to do it, but I'm telling you, you don't need to know how to do it. You literally just can use a calculator. Just know that you change it to a decimal first. Um, hopefully that makes sense. The way I remembered uh, conversions for like the metric system uh, is King Henry died by King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And there's a video on how to learn about that. It's like maybe two minutes. I'll link that in the description down below too. So make sure you know how to do that because there was a few problems on that as well. Moving on to the reading section. Um, I used Carolyn McAllister and I went through her entire playlist and she talks so slowly. So make sure to put her on 1.5x speed or maybe even 2x speed because I know I'm terrible at this but uh, I also made like a 91 on my, on my HESI exam so maybe I can make a video about that um, yeah or uh, right, guys that's the end of the video um, make sure to click like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment with your email so I can send you this study guide and you guys are gonna do great I already know because you took my tips and my tricks. Um, so compensate me for that. And I'll see you later.